Hello and welcome, my name is QB. A while back I made a tutorial on a small farmhouse that was very well received by the community and loved by many viewers. So after a bit of thought, I thought I'd pay homage to the design and show an upgraded, remastered version of it for this week's video. This version of the house is much larger as you can see, but still maintains its nice shape, but also boasts a new fancy wall design too. It's kept the same roof style which I absolutely adore and also includes a much larger farm which with this box farm design you can continue to expand your farm with as many 5x5 five five squares as you'd like. So let's dive straight into building this beautiful home. First up, once you've found some nice land, for this house we're going to start with a floor plan. This will enable us to build the farmhouse very easily. Make sure that you copy out the plan carefully and ensure your oak wood blocks are facing the right direction. Pause the video now until you're ready to continue. Once we have our floor plan laid out, we're going to dig up a small path with a shovel like so at the entrance. Now we're going to build up the house's frame, follow where I place in these three block high columns of oak wood. On top of the following face up oak wood, raise it by one more oak wood block. And now for the same on the other side. On top of each of the oak wood blocks we've just placed, place down a spruce wood slab. Next, in between each of the one block high oak wood posts, we're going to add in two oak fences, making sure the middle spot is left open. Now in between those oak fences, place in a spruce fence gate. To create some external lighting, I place down some torches in the following positions. It's time to start working on the house's body. Start with placing a spruce door here from inside the house. Using a combination of oak stairs and trap doors, create a wall around the door like so. Now it's time for the walls. Most of it is pattern repetition, but I'll start slow so you can follow along easily.
We'll do that once more over on the right side. The bottom two rows of all the walls keep the same pattern, only the top row changes depending on the wall's location. Now we need to do the exact same thing for the opposite walls. Halfway there, now for the side walls here. Time for the back wall. Once again, the first two rows keep the same pattern, but the top row will have an oak stair in the middle. These last two walls have the exact same pattern. That's the house's walls finished. It's time to start on the house's roof. Although it's a slightly complex roof, I've broken it down into some very easy steps for you to follow along with. To start off, place two upside down spruce wood stairs here. Now, starting here, watch as I create a new pattern for the roof with spruce wood slabs. This pattern will be displayed clearly for you at the top of the screen. We're going to do this two more times. Start the next copy here. One more copy to go. Nice job. Now with spruce planks, watch and follow where I place them in. Now watch where we place in these additional spruce slabs. That's the first half of the roof already done. Cover up the gap in the center of the roof with spruce wood planks. To finish off the roof's design, we're going to create a nice little overhang with spruce slabs. Start in the middle above the door here with three slabs. I'll go slowly for this part so it's easier to copy the overhangs pattern.
Well done, the shape of your house is complete. Now it's up to you which crops you'd like to grow in your farm. For this demo, I'll be growing wheat, carrots and potatoes. Remember, you can duplicate the boxes of farms as many times as you'd like all around your house and create some really cool unique patterns. Once your farm is complete, all that's left is the interior. Since everyone prefers different styles and features, that part I'll leave up to you. However, I'm going to show you how I've decided to decorate my house, prioritizing simplicity and color. There you have it. This new farmhouse is now all yours to customize and play around with so you can make it special and unique to you. A huge thanks to a builder of mine, Stillager, for the core design of this beautiful house. If you'd like to see more house tutorials or even cool easy redstone machines, I welcome you to come visit my channel and take a look around. That is it for this episode, guys. Until next time, goodbye.